Meet Pastor James, a Tanzanian pastor whose legs are not supposed to touch the ground when he is preaching. He assigns at least three members in his church that will have to carry him until the end of the church service. It doesn't matter if you are male or female, nor does it matter the type of dress you have on. Instead, it will be a privilege if you are among those assigned to carry the so-called man of God for that day. And you dare not allow his legs to touch the floor. During his preaching, three or four members of the church lie on the floor so that he can march on them while he is preaching. The able-bodied brothers in the church have to carry him on their back one after the other until the end of the service. And it was reported that every member of the church do everything possible to make sure he or she is choosing to render the service of backing the pastor or lie on the floor for the pastor to step on them. Having the belief or seeing the gesture as a blessing in return. What is wrong with people like seriously? Religion has taken a toll on us. Someone should tell this man of God that Jesus walked on water, not on Israelite backs. Sometimes I, I, I stay and wonder if God created uh, everybody to have the same level of, of understanding and mentality. Christianity in Africa is something else. People are now, now desperate looking for, for miracle, irrespective of the fetish demonstration behind that miracle. You don't mind. Africans are being blindfolded by religion. The white folks that brought religion are not practicing it to enslave their mentality. The word of God said that by their fruit, you shall know them. But Africans today are seeing the fruit, but they are not knowing them. Very bad. Because they are so desperate for miracle. Stop giving this man of God the edge to keep brainwashing you, my dear. You know the scripture. Try and know the truth so that that truth shall set you free. A word is enough for the wise.